Welcome to a mobile car mechanic review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Asperx AX4500 Jump Pack sent in by Asperx. Uh, we would like to thank Asperx for sending this product for, for review. Um, the AX4500 has a peak current of 4500 amps. It can also start an engine size, any engine size, for gasoline engines and up to 10 liters for maximum uh, for diesel engines. Um, the jump box self itself can start a vehicle with a completely dead battery even if it's zero volts, which we'll demonstrate later in the video. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this and show you what's included. Of course you're going to have the jump box itself. And below that you're going to have the jumper clips or the alligator clips, which this end plugs into the jump pack, and these will be what plugs onto your batteries. Then you have a cigarette light adapter, so you can actually use you can use the jump pack to power like cigarette lighted lighter accessories, and plug it directly into the jump pack. Uh, they do include two cables, so they include a USB C to USB A, and a USB C to USB C cable, and of course the owner's manual and a carrying pouch to keep things organized. Um, just know that they don't actually give you a charging block so you'll have to have that on your own but uh, you can use any USB-C char charger to, to charge the jump pack. All right looking at the unit you'll see a single power button on the front. I'm gonna go ahead and push the button now. What, what you'll see now is that the display will illuminate with the state of charge of the jump pack so in this case it's 74 percent. Uh, charging the jump pack will also illuminate the display and show the charging status. The power button can also use to activate other modes on the device itself, mainly the flashlight on the end of the jump pack here. So to turn on the flashlight, we're going to go ahead and hold down the power button. Okay, and you're going to hold it down for a couple seconds, probably about like five seconds, and now you'll activate the solid bright beam of light. The light on this jump pack is pretty impressive. As is, this is the largest light I've seen on any jump pack, and it's pretty darn bright. Uh, now, if you click the button without holding it, it'll change the modes for the flashlight. So click once, and now it'll be in strobe mode, which will flash light on and off in a rapid succession. Click the power button again. Now you're in SOS mode, which will be slower on and off flash for emergencies. Click the power button once more, and the light will turn off. Or if you have it in strobe mode, it'll turn off on its own after some time. All right, now looking at the unit, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on its side. Um, if you look at the side, you're gonna see a dust cover here, Once we, which will indicate what ports that this has, but also we're gonna go ahead and uncover them so you can see them. You will have access to three ports, uh, which is the barrel connector for the cigarette light adapter, which will allow you to use most 12 volt automotive accessories, a USB-A port, which does support up to 18 watt quick charge, and a USB-C port that supports power delivery up to 30 watts, as well as input for power delivery up to 30 watts. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate charging multiple devices here. I don't have anything right now to plug into the barrel connector, but we can plug that in this way. This is what it would look like if everything's plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and power on the, the jump pack. Now I got two USB-C cables here, one to the A port and one to the C port. I'll demonstrate with a Nintendo Switch here that it should be able to power it up. So my battery's full right now, but you'll see it says console charge. So showing that, and then we have a Galaxy phone here as well. Right now it's at 34%, and you can see now it's also bringing up the charge here. And then if you wanted to power up something like, you know, 
Even if you really wanted to, you could use a cigarette lighter in here with like USB ports to charge like multiple devices. Or if you want to power any, you know, any specific automotive accessories, you can go ahead and do that from here. Now, on the screen here, it's going to indicate what devices are plugged in. So quick charge is going to be for the USB-A. Type-C, of course, is obviously the, the C. And then it will indicate on the screen here, output. Now this will change if you're charging it. So we'll go ahead and unplug these and you'll see that they turn off. Now if I go ahead and charge it through the USB-C port, it's gonna tell you Type-C in. So now we're charging. If you don't see that, then obviously your power, you don't have enough power to charge this unit. Um, like I said earlier, you do not get a charging brick with it. So you'll either have to use an existing charger or purchase one. And charging speed may vary on the output of your charger. And, you know, that, that, that it may charge fast or it may charge slowly, all depending on what output your charger has. So right now we're just using a very basic uh, USB charger out of a little brick. So like I said, it'll vary. All right, so coming from this side, we're now gonna go to this side. Um, the most important part of for the reason why you'd probably buy this is for the jumper cables. So you got this little dust cover. This is where you're gonna go ahead and hook up your alligator clips. And the great thing is this is foolproof. You can't screw this up. It's only keyed to work one way. So normally this is how it's gonna go in. Just push it in. Obviously, if you try to do it the wrong way, it won't go in. So once we have it plugged in, we are going to go to the car after this. But basically, once it's plugged in, you're gonna go ahead and obviously hook up the terminals to the battery. And then you're gonna hit the boost button. You're gonna hear a click. That's when you know it's setting a burst of voltage to go ahead and jump, start whatever battery you have, whether it's completely dead or partially, you know, just low on, below 12, 12 volts. So let's go ahead and get to the car. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump start this vehicle. Just so I can show you on camera, this vehicle has like, it's been sitting well, so it has no charge. Literally nothing, nothing, no lights, none of that stuff. So now we're gonna go under the hood. We're gonna go ahead and jump this thing. All right, so again, we have the jumper cable side. Just gonna go ahead and hook up the terminals. And then the great thing about this unit is it'll power on automatically once it's detected but it also has what they call polarity protection so if you screw it up the light here will tell you if you have it incorrect or correct so believe this is i'm going to just show you on camera here it might not do anything but you can see now it's beeping because it's telling us that this is hooked up wrong we have it correct you'll see that the light turns green. Now it's blinking. What we're gonna do now is just gonna hit the boost button. You'll hear a click. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. and remove it because now the alternator is going to go ahead and charge the battery. As you can see, it's it did deplete it. It was at 74%. Now it's at 70. So once you're done, just go ahead and unplug it. Put the cover back on. Now if you want to turn it off, you just hold down the power button for a bit. The, fla the flashlight will come on. Hold it for about like 10 15 seconds, and that's it. 
All right, so all in all, my thoughts on the jump pack are pretty positive. Um, I do really like that the LCD does display the charge as well as the ports used. As I already have a jump pack that I do use that just uses status LEDs, which is fine, but not accurate. Um, this pack is also bigger than the one I currently use and can see myself using this more as I will be able to charge more vehicles on the go. As being a mobile mechanic, I do run into cars that have been sitting for a while and use these jump packs more than most would. Um, I'd recommend the jump pack if you're looking to have something in case of emergency, whether that is a de dead car battery or if you just need to charge your devices. So it's basically a big power bank. But overall, it's a solid product and has met my expectations. Uh, we will include a link to Amazon if interested. Uh, we would like to thank Asperx again for sending this product out for review. Do feel free to comment any questions about the unit, and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching Mobile Car Mechanic, and see you on the next one.